Have you ever heard of a zonkey? Among the amazing wildlife, the zonkey might sound unfamiliar. However, this creature, a cross between a zebra and a donkey, is real. Its rarity and unique appearance make the zonkey interesting to discuss. This time, we'll introduce you to this unique animal, the zonkey, a cross between a zebra and a donkey. Zonkeys are relatively rare, both in the wild and in captivity. However, the appearance of a zonkey in Chulu Hills National Park, Kenya, in 2020, captured the world's attention. This unique baby zebra was seen with its mother, a female zebra, with the characteristic zebra stripes on its legs, but a body coloration more reminiscent of a donkey. Zonkeys, whose name is a combination of zebra and donkey, are classified as hybrids. Hybrids are offspring, resulting from the crossbreeding of two different species. Generally, zebras and donkeys belong to the same genus Equus, but they are separate species. Zebras have several subspecies, the most common being the lowland zebra, Equus quagga, and gravy zebra, Equus grevii. Meanwhile, donkeys are descended from the species Equus africanus asinus. Crossbreeding between zebras and donkeys can occur both in the wild and in captivity. In the wild, this is rare because zebras and donkeys generally have separate habitats. However, under certain conditions, such as drought forcing them to move into the same area, crossbreeding can occur. Zonkeys have a unique physical appearance, combining the characteristics of both parents. Zonkeys' coats are generally brown, like donkeys, but with the distinctive black and white stripes of zebras on their legs. Sometimes these stripes can also appear on other parts of the body, although not as numerous as zebras. Besides their appearance, zonkeys also inherit traits from both parents. Zonkeys have a sturdy body like donkeys, but with a stronger wild instinct inherited from zebras. Zonkeys are herbivores and feed on grass and other plants. Although zonkeys appear healthy and can live normal lives, they are sterile. This means they cannot reproduce and produce offspring of their own. This infertility is common in animals resulting from crossbreeding between very different species. So, why are zonkeys sterile? This is related to the difference in the number of chromosomes between zebras and donkeys. Zebras have 44 chromosomes, while donkeys have 62. When the egg and sperm of a zebra and donkey combine during fertilization, the zonkey embryo has an incorrect number of chromosomes. As a result, the zonkey has difficulty producing healthy sperm or eggs, preventing them from reproducing. Despite zonkeys being sterile, they remain a fascinating sight. Zonkeys are often kept in zoos as exhibits. Their docile nature and unique appearance can be a major draw for zoo visitors. Furthermore, zonkeys also hold significant scientific value. Researchers study zonkeys to understand genetics, interspecies compatibility, and the impact of crossbreeding at the chromosome level. On the other hand, the existence of zonkeys has also sparked debate. Some argue that crossbreeding between zonkeys is unnatural and disrupts the balance of the ecosystem. Moreover, zonkeys are generally not found in the wild. However, it should be noted that cases of zonkeys born in the wild are extremely rare. Most zonkeys are the result of deliberate mating in captivity. For animal lovers, ensuring that zonkeys are well cared for and their welfare is maintained is paramount. Zonkeys are not objects of exploitation but living beings that deserve respect and proper care. The zonkey is a unique animal resulting from a cross between a zebra and a donkey. Although sterile and rare, zonkeys have their own charm and contribute to the development of science. However, the existence of zonkeys has also raised ethical debates regarding crossbreeding between species. Ultimately, the preservation of wild animals is a shared responsibility and zonkeys can serve as a bridge to raise public awareness of the importance of protecting habitats and native species. Thank you for watching until the end. 
please feel free to discuss your thoughts in the comments section. Hopefully, after watching this video, you will have a broader perspective and a deeper love and protection for nature and all its inhabitants. If you like this video, click like and don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.